we must cultivate the habit of peace and patience. Most of our today's problems are attached with our insufficiency of warriors. A warrior is not someone who fights or has a skill and capacity to defeat or take the life of an enemy, but the one who sacrifices himself for the goodness of others. Making his task, taking care of elderly, defenseless, those that cannot provide for themselves, children, and the future of humanity. I must remember some precious and valuable community that existed, that existed in northern state of Nigeria. They are the people of character and discipline. Their actions are speaking louder than their words, and they make use of their ability, capability, versatility, and their responsibility. During their time, no need of heavy or digital padlocks and tuberculosis, long and strong walls, guns and additional security to secure their lives and providers because their mind focus on living in a line that will maintain peace and calmness in Nigeria. We form drunk doors into useful, well-behaved and law-abiding individuals. The whole of youth on societal development cannot be overemphasized as the will of development of any society lies on the shoulder of how productive and creative youthful populations are. The youth in any society as an engine of growth and development as they provide labor force for production and of good and services to take effect. Youth are the great assets of any society if they are born and utilized in the right direction. The youth are the cornerstone to any societal transformation. As the most active segment of any society, youth are the major determiners of peace and stability in any society. Conversely, the degree of disorderliness and instability in any society is determined in part by youth. Peace is a sign of development. The absence of peace means that no meaningful development can take place. You don't have to focus on, with, on the lies of social media which contributed immensely to whether our Toward our presence, peace, demotion. <clears throat> Many times we are getting the knowledge of new crimes and indisciplines through media, whether conventional or new media, which used to circulate, spread, or emphasize a crime directly or indirectly. However, a human right watch report of April 18. 2011 says that although the April election were her elections were heralded as among the fiercest in Nigerian history, but they were among the bloodiest because over 800, not less than 800 persons were killed, 65,000 others displaced, and over 350 churches and mosques were either burned or destroyed in the violence that precipitated after the announcement of 2011 general election in northern state of Nigeria. I believe that social media played a huge role in instigating and foiling the violence. During the period, many Facebook pages are uh, were awashed with false rumors and gossip that added to heating of the quality and create unnecessary tension. They were also used to spread false election results that differ from what INEC eventually announced. This make electorate believe that their vote did not count and they were massively reached. Let me go to the uh, point part. 
Uh, it is a written poem, not a song. It is me enjoying myself the most, yet I hate myself for the first. If asked what exactly is told in my chest, I can't say it is a heart, feel the heart. I am jobless and hopeless at all taste. I'm sleeping, still dreaming to be the richest. Whether through unclear fast or the darkest, living in the world's nest is only my goal. If Mr. Complain should be against, with no doubt, I'm definitely the host. I can't shift an iron from where it's moist, still complaining why pillars should rust. I can't clean but showing spot of dust. I never think of what I myself can fix. I invite poverty, disaster inspection, and the rest. I'm neither reliable nor an honest at all. As a typical contemporary Nigerian youth, my act didn't commensurate with my past because these days I realize my overrun. I'm so stranger with zero doubt. Come purposely for a tryout for an irreplaceable short count, and my visit is once and for all. I'm selected out of millions of applicants, and the rest remain incompetent. I don't want my success to be discontent. I don't want my soul to kiss the hell. I hear this exam whole wisely. Its entrance and exit said ambiguously. For the rest of my time, I would act carefully to be successful here and out of this hole. I meet nobody here but strangers. Being stranger, I can't speak to no stranger. Self knowledge brings us less danger. What we build is our image at this hole.